For the best in music, arts, and entertainment, venture to the outside. ITO Radio America. Well, I noticed a lot of new faces this evening, and I'm so glad you all came. And I want you to know that this is a safe place to share. So if you want to tell us your story, there'll be no judgment. Hi, my name is Charlie, and as you know, I have a problem. I'm addicted to coffee. Wait a minute, is this guy trying to pass off the same intro as he did on the last video? Yes, yes I am. But don't panic, you're not going to see the same video. I actually just came up with a little anecdote that I shared in that last video that I figured didn't really fit because people who wanted to see the interior really just wanted to see the interior and not hear me jabber jawing on, so I took it out. But I decided that it was probably interesting enough to add to a new video, so here it is. Let's take it away from here. One thing I wanted to say, just a quick, I don't know, tidbit that I wanted to add to this video, and something I really love about this Volkswagen, and kind of really what I was looking for, and I think a testament to the experience of having a Volkswagen for a lot of people. About a week ago, before we got the front carpet in, um, we had the padding down and uh, I decided I was gonna take a break and I was gonna drive this thing for a couple days. The back seat carpet was in, I wasn't gonna put the back seat in, I was just gonna throw in two front seats and I was gonna drive it for a couple days because it's been about, I don't know, 10 days since we've driven it and it's just been an empty metal cage for the last uh, several weeks. So I wanted to enjoy it a little bit. I put the seats back in it. I got inside and my daughter and I were gonna go for a ride. She piled in and we shut the doors and we were ready to go and I turned the key and nothing. It didn't turn over, didn't even try, it didn't, nothing happened, lights wouldn't come on and I thought, man, you know, the battery must be dead. So I got out the jumper cables and I tried to jump it, nothing. Tried uh, a couple times thinking maybe I had the wrong jumper cables because I think we had a, a set that didn't work for some reason. I had another set, I dug out another set, still didn't work. Well, I mean, either this battery is completely dead or something else is wrong with it. Anything could have happened while we're putting it in carpet, to be honest. So something could have gotten ripped off or bumped or whatever. And I decided I'll just put, take the seats back out and finish putting the carpet in. And if I have to have this thing looked at by a garage or if I'm gonna try to fix it myself and take a look at it, I'll do it later, but let's just finish the carpet since it's sitting here anyway. When I took the seats out, I looked at the battery, trying to see like how old it was, it looks pretty old. But I noticed that the positive battery cable came off and split. One went to the engine and the other one kind of came over into this section uh, behind the driver's seat. And there's a pile of wires there and that's an issue that i'm gonna have somebody uh, help me with um, there's a local electrician here the wiring wizard that is gonna help me organize the wiring in here there's not a lot but i don't want to take out something that's important so anyways long story short i went through that wire and it was just sitting there and i'm thinking hmm you know this is clearly not plugged into something and it probably should be um i'm dumb but i know at least that much so I start looking around and sure enough, there's a box that had a place to plug in such a wire with a, that connection. And I thought, well, <laughs> we'll give it a go. So I plugged it in and I flipped on the lights first because I was afraid to blow up anything or blow out anything or start a fire. Everybody keeps telling me about Volkswagen fires lately. I turn on the lights and sure enough, the headlights come on. So I'm thinking, huh? So I put the seat back in, fire it, fires right up. That's not to say that any of you could not have diagnosed that much easier or some of you are probably saying like yeah that's obvious you know exactly the connection that came off that i'm talking about i did not know that and that's kind of my point like in the mercedes that i'm used to there's zero chance that i'm going to be able to myself just follow along with a wire that easily and diagnose something and fix it or know what's wrong with it that simply. I mean, this car is so simplified that I absolutely love it. I don't know, that's just my anecdote for Volkswagens and kind of in a nutshell why I have this car is because I want to learn to be more proficient 
in taking care of automobiles and diagnosing problems and fixing them. And I don't think I could find a better car to start with than this one. So for any of you who are scared to death of cars, um, I have always been that way. And this, this journey with Papa and the Mercedes, little by little, I've seen that stuff can be done. Mercedes, even the old ones, the, one, the cheap ones that we get, they're still so much more complex. It's a world's difference than this Volkswagen. I just love this little thing. I'm enjoying the experience. I thought I'd share that little story because many people are like me. Not everybody's mechanic and you, you stay away from this hobby. You may love cars, but you stay away from it because it's, it's terrifying to think about breaking down or paying all this money to have somebody fix it and stuff. Uh, and it can be, I mean, I'm a glutton and I've paid plenty of money for cars uh, and I'll be putting a lot of money into this one too. I can feel it, but, but this is a great little car to learn on. This is a great little car. If you have the desire to understand the way stuff works or to be able to maintain, you know, probably everything if you really wanted to i just want to be proficient at the main things but just uh just a quick little side uh how happy i am with this beetle and there you have it earth shattering nah but it's an opinion about volkswagens and uh i think they're pretty cool so i wanted to share anyways thank you guys so much for supporting like share subscribe and tell a friend if you're so inclined other than that, we'll see you on the next one.